In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Rainbow Loom Christmas M&M figure. So what you'll need is one loom, and you want to have it set up in a rectangular shape so that all the pins are in line with one another. And you want to move your blue connector pieces to the ends of your loom. For your colors, you will need to have white for the feet and hands. You'll need to have one black band for the mouth. You'll need to have um, two googly eyes, or if you want to try and make the eyes um, with bands, you can do that. I did try that myself and wasn't very successful, so I just resorted to using the googly eyes. Um, and three clips. And then you'll need the color for your body, which I have chosen red. And then I have peach for the arms and legs. And then I have a dark green for the hat. Now this is an advanced tutorial and I will be working faster in this video than I do in a lot of my other videos just because of the time that it's going to take me to show you how to do this. So I apologize if you feel like I'm going too fast, but you can always hit the pause button on the video if you feel like you need more time with each of the steps. So where we're going to place our first band is if you Go to the left side of your loom and count into the third pin over. That is where we're going to place our first band. And we're going to start with white for the shoe. So I want to put this on my hook and then I want to twist it around a second time so that it's doubled. And I'm going to go to that third pin in from the left and place one side of the band on. And then I'm going to stretch up and diagonally to the right and twist and push that down. Now from here we're going to go down and diagonally to the right. Again, I'm going to double this band, so put it on your hook two times, and then place it on that pin, and then stretch down and diagonally and twist, and push that down. And now from here I'm going to go up and diagonally to the right once again, and again I'm going to double this band, so put it on your hook um, two times, and we're going from here up, so get that on, and then go up to the right and twist. So now what I'm going to do is go to the pin below, and I'm going to work my way back, crossing over everything that I just did, and once again I'm going to double these bands. So I'm going to make an X over everything I just did. I'm going to twist. And now from here I'm going to come down and diagonally to the left, again, double the band, and twist. And then finally I'm going to work my way up and diagonally to the left. And again, double the band. And twist. So that's the bottom of one of the shoes, and now I'm going to do the second shoe. So I'm going to go to the next pin over from where I stopped. Um, so it's not going to connect onto this, but we're not going to skip any pins. It's going to be the very next pin. So from here I'm going to go up and diagonally to the right. Again, I'm going to twist the band two times. I'm going to put that on and twist and then from here I'm going up and diagonally to the right double the band and then from here I'm going up and diagonally to the right again and twist that around two times and twist. And now I'm going to go to the pin below and just zigzag my way back. Just going to double each of the bands. When you double the bands, it definitely makes it harder to get on. And then again I'm going to come back 
down or to the left. And twist. And now I want to put another layer of white bands on these same pins in the same order but this time I'm not doubling so starting on the left I'm just going to zigzag my way up and then come back down for this shoe And then I'm going to go to the other shoe and do the same thing. Just work my way back down. And then I want to remove the bottom layer from all of the pins. So again, I'm going to start on the left-hand side. Now all of these bands that are underneath are doubled. So I'm going to be removing the bottom two bands at once. So from this end pin, I want to grab the bottom two bands and pull it over the top. And now for the next pin up, I have um, two doubled bands on the bottom. So I want to grab the bottom two bands at once and pull that over the top. And then I'm going to grab the next two bands at once because this is your second um, doubled band and pull it over the top. Again, go to the one above. I'm grabbing the bottom two bands and pulling over the top. And then grabbing the second set of two bands and pulling it over the top. And then on the last pin up for this foot, I'm going to grab the bottom two bands and pull it over the top. Going up to the next foot, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Grab the bottom two bands, pull it over the top, and grab the next two bands and pull over the top, and then grab the second set of two bands and pull it over. Same thing for the next one. I want two different sets of double bands, so I'm grabbing two at once, and then on the end, I'm grabbing two at once and pulling over the top. So what you should be left with, just to make sure you did it right, is there should just be one single band on the end pins of the feet and then two bands on the center pins for each of the feet. Flip to the other side and we're going to take the same pattern off. We're grabbing the bottom two bands on the end, pulling it over the top. The next one we're going to grab two bands at once. Um, one time and then two bands again for a second time. Go down to the next and do the same thing. Two bands over the top and then two more. And then on the end of this foot we're just grabbing two bands and pulling it over. And you want to push all of this down. Now on the next foot again, grabbing two bands over the top, down to the next pin you want to grab two more bands, pull it over, and then another two bands, Work, working our way down, grab two bands, pull it over, and then another two bands, and pull it over. So just two bands at the bottom, and pull it over the top. And then you want to push everything down. And now what we want to do is we want to get the shoe to move in. So I'm going to take the bottom left band and move it up and diagonally to the right. Put it right on the top of that pin. And I'm going to take the top left band and move that diagonally to the right and put that on the top. And then I'm going to take the bottom band from each of those pins and pull it over the top to secure that in place. I'm going to go to the other shoe and this time I'm going to be working with the, the far right side and I want to again grab that um, bottom band, pull it up and put it diagonally to the left and take the upper band and move that down and diagonally to the left 
and then move that very bottom band from each of those pins over the top to secure that in place. So now we've narrowed the shoe. And now I'm going to put on another layer of white, um, the length of these three pins for each foot. So I'm going to start at the left, and I'm just going to zigzag my way up and then back down. And then do the same thing on the other foot. So I'm going to just zigzag my way up and then back down. And now again, I want to remove the bottom layer so as you can see, I have three bands on the um, far left here, and I'm going to remove the bottom two bands. So I'm just going to put them over the top. And on the next pin, I have four bands, so I'm going to be removing the bottom two. And then on the next pin, I have two bands, but I'm actually not going to do anything to that right now move to the next foot and again I'm not going to do anything on these two bands the next pin up I have four bands so I'm going to be removing the bottom two and then on this far right pin I'm going to be removing the bottom two flip to the other side and do the same pattern so I'm removing the bottom two and then again I want to be removing the bottom two and then here on this inside part of the shoe, I'm not doing anything. And the same for the next pin. And then we're going to be removing the bottom two from the middle of this shoe. And then the bottom two from the end of the shoe on the left hand side. So once again, we want to move the ends of the shoes in. So starting on the left hand side, we're going to take the bottom band and move it up and diagonally to the right, place it right on the top, and take the upper band and move that down and diagonally to the right. And then you want to remove the bottom band from each of those pins and push that down. Do the same thing for the other shoe. We're going to take the bottom band on the far right and move it up and diagonally to the left. And we're going to take the band above it and we're going to move that down and diagonally to the left put it right on the top and then remove the bottom band on each of those pins to secure that in place and now we're going to put a, another layer of white on so I'm going to start on the bottom left and go up and diagonally and then cross it and then go to the next shoe and do the same thing we're going up diagonally to the right and then coming back down and crossing it. And then we're going to again remove the bottom layer on all of these pins. We're just going to take one band from each of the pins. So I'm going to do um, the one foot and then move up to the next foot and do the same thing. Just take the bottom band off of all of the pins and then push all of this down and that's going to be the end of our white bands for the shoe and um, we're going to start on the peach bands for the legs so I'm going to string um, peach on the next layer again I'm just going to be doing that same pattern making X's that's for the one leg and then I'll do the other And then I want to remove the bottom layer. It's going to be removing the bottom band, so just one white band. And that's from all of the pins. Do the same thing for the other leg. And then push that down. I'm going to do another layer of peach going to be doing five layers of peach in total so this is going to be the second layer just making X's 
It's like a um, double cross fish tail. Again, remove the bottom layer. So one white band again from all of the pins. And then move up to the next leg and do the same thing. One bottom white. So that was two layers of the peach bands and I'm going to do three more layers um, the same way. Just put a layer on and remove the bottom single band from all of the pins. So I'm going to fast forward here while I do that. Now at this point you should have put on and taken off five layers of peach bands for the legs and next we're going to add the body. So we're going to start with our color of the body which I have red, um, whichever color you're choosing for your M&M body. And you want to start on the left pin where you have one of the legs and we're going to work our way up and down diagonally. And so we're going to go up and diagonal to the right. And now we're going to go down and diagonal to the right. And this time, since there's nothing underneath, you're going to have to twist this band. And then we're going to go back up and diagonally to the right. So we're going over the length of the four pins and we're making a solid body. And you want to work your way back to the left. So we're going to go up and diagonal to the left. And then we're going to come down and diagonal to the left. And this time you're going to, again, need to twist since there's nothing underneath. And then again, you're going up and diagonally to the left. And now we want to remove the bottom layer. So you should have two peach bands on all of the pins. And we want to remove both of those peach bands on this layer. So you want to grab the bottom and pull it over the top and then the second band and pull it over and we're going to do that for all of the pins I'm going to get rid of all of the peach and then flip to the other side and do the same thing And then back down to the start again and you want to push all of this down and your feet should be making their way out the bottom and now we're going to put on a second layer using the length of four pins so I'm going to start at the bottom left and just zigzag my way up and down and then work my way back and then again I'm going to remove the bottom layer so this time you should have two bands on the end pins and four bands in the center so we're going to take just one off from the end and then two from the center both of these center pins and then one on the end flip to the other side and repeat one on the end and two on the centers and again push all of this down And for this next layer, we're going to expand out to the length of six pins. So we want to go one pin further on both sides. So I'm going to start here, one pin over from the left. And I need to twist this end band since there's nothing underneath. And then I'm just going to um, zigzag my way up. And then again, I'm going to go one further and I need to twist on the end since there's nothing underneath 
work my way back down again twisting just the end band and then for this last one again we need to twist and push all of this down and now we want to remove the bottom layer once again so we're not doing anything on the very ends because they only have one band but on the next one up we're going to be removing one band and then two on the next one always from the bottom two from the next and then one on the pin above nothing with this end flip to the other side again nothing on the end we want one from the next one down two from the next two from the next and one from the next one to the left again push all of this down and now I want to do a second layer using the length of six pins so I'm going to just string that now this time we don't have to twist any of the bands and you want to make sure that all of the bands are pushed down on the pins so you have room to add your next layer and make sure that none of the bands overlap each other on the pin itself. You want to keep them in the same order every time. And then back to the start and now once again we're going to remove the bottom layer so we want to do one from the end pin and two from all of the center pins And then one from the ends again. Do the same thing on the other side. And then one at the end again. And push all of this down. So the next thing that we're going to do is add the arms and this was the hardest part for me to figure out but I'll show you what I've done to do the arms is if you see that pin that we always start on the left hand side if you move over to the left skip the pin next to it and go to the very next one over so if you're looking from the end of your loom it's the second pin in you want to take a white band for the hand and again we're going to double it and we're going to place it on that pin and we're going to go up and diagonally to the right and twist. We're going to take another white band again double it and we're going to cross over this and make an X and again twist to make sure they both get on there and they twist together. And then we're going to add a second layer of white Again, just making an X. It's like the double cross fishtail. And then again, we'll do another layer. Always starting with the bottom left and then crossing over. So once we have three layers on, it's time to remove the bottom layer. And as you recall, um, the bottom layer was doubled, so we're going to have to grab two bands at once and pull it over the top. And we're going to do that for all four of the pins. Flip to the other side and do the same thing, grabbing those two bottom bands and push that down. And now I'm going to add another layer of white, again starting at the bottom left and then crossing it. And now I want to remove the bottom layer once again. I'm just going to be working with one arm for now. And then I'll 
show you how to, how to do the other arm. We're just going to repeat this on the other side then. And push that down. And now I'm going to switch to the peach bands for the arms. So again, starting with the bottom left, I'm going to make an X. I'm going to do five layers of peach just like I did for the legs. So I'm going to move to the far right hand side this time where I have my last band on that pin and I want to move one over to the right and that's where I'm going to place my first band for the hand and I want to take a white band and loop it on my hook two times. I'm going to go to that next pin up and I'm going to go up and diagonal to the right and twist. Push that down. Now I'm going to take another white band and again double this on my hook and I'm going to cross over what I just put on and twist and push that down. And now I want to add another row or layer of white starting at the left hand pin and going up and then crossing over, push that down and then a third layer of white starting on the left going up and diagonally to the right and then crossing back over it and now I want to remove the bottom layer so this was a doubled band on all of these pins so I want to grab the bottom two bands and pull it over the top go up to the next and take the bottom two bands off at once flip to the other side again taking the bottom two and then once again the bottom two and then push this down and then I'm going to add one more layer of white again starting at the bottom left and going up and then crossing it and then remove the bottom band just one from each of the pins this time and do the same on the other side and push this down. Now I'm going to be adding um, five more layers of peach this time. So the, I'll do the first layer, just making that X and remove the bottom layer. Just one every time we're removing. And then I'll do four more layers of peach, so I'll fast forward here. And now you should have put on and taken off five layers of the peach bands. And now we want to do our next um, layer and this time we're going to stretch out to the length of eight pins so I'm going to do red for the body again I'm going to be starting um, one over from the left hand side where I have the last red band if you look at the end of your loom it's going to be the third pin in from the left side of your loom and we're going to go up and diagonally and twist and then I'm just going to zigzag my way up and down so I'm going the length of eight pins like I said so when I get to the top here I'm going to go one additional I'm going to twist since there's nothing underneath so it's going to go on top of the peach bands and then I want to move down one. Again, I need to twist just this end. And then I'm going to just zigzag my way back down across everything that I've just done.
And then for this very last one, again, I need to twist. And now what I want to do is move these peach bands in one. So I should have two peach bands on all of the pins. And what I'm going to do is actually take both peach bands on my hook. I want to take them up and diagonally to the right and put them on the top. Make sure you have both bands. And then I'm going to take both bands from the pin above and move that down and diagonally to the right and place that right on top. And then I'm going to remove the bottom two bands from the pins, the bottom two peach bands. That's going to um, lock that in place. And now I'm going to continue on removing the bottom layer. So from this next one, I just want to remove one red. And then from all of these center pins, I'm going to be removing the bottom two bands. And two from the next one. And then from this last one, there's three bands on, so I'm just going to take the bottom one. And now I'm going to do the same thing for this other arm. I want it to move in. So I'm going to take the bottom two peach bands, get them on my hook, and move them up and diagonally to the left. Make sure they both make it on the top there. And then take the upper bands and move them down and to the left. And make sure they both get on. It's a little tricky. And now I want to remove the bottom two peach bands from both of those pins. And push this down. And now I'm going to work my way back down this back side of the body. So I'm going to take just one from the end, red, and then two from all of the centers. and then two from this next one and then on this end one where I only have three red I'm just going to take one and push this down and then I'm going to be adding another layer of red again I'm going to be using um, the length of eight pins so I'm going to start on this um, left hand side it's going to be peach on the top and I'm going to just zigzag my way up using all red or whichever color you've chosen for your M&M body and then I'm going over top of this arm I'm going to go to the pin below and just work my way back. And then back to the start. And then once again, I'm going to remove the bottom layer. So what I'm going to do now is remove the two peach bands. Even though the red one is on the bottom, um, I want the two peach bands to come off next. I'm going to try not to have red, um, too much red show in between the peach. And then up to the next, I'm removing the bottom two red. Just going to keep removing two from all of these center pins. Just work my way up. And 
then when I get to this other arm, again, I want to take the two peach bands. I'm going to ignore this bottom red band for now. Grab um, the two peach and pull them over. And then flip to the other side again, grab the two peach bands and pull them over the top. And then for the red, I'm just doing two reds on each of the pins on my way back down. And then here again, I'm going to grab the two peach bands that are in the middle and pull them over. And so now I want to narrow my M&M to the length of six pins. So I'm going to work my way back over. So I'm going to take these two bottom red bands, get them both on my hook and move them diagonally up and to the right. Get them right on the top. And I'm going to take the two bands that were above, get them both on my hook, and move them down and diagonally to the right. Put them right on the top. And then I'm going to take the bottom two red bands and pull them over the top to secure that in place. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take the two red bands on the top pin and move them diagonally down and to the left. Put them right on the top of that pin. I'm going to take the two um, red bands on the bottom pin and move them up and diagonally to the left. And then remove the bottom two bands. From both sides. And then the next thing we're going to do is push all of this down. Hopefully everyone will be not having too much trouble doing this. I know it's more advanced and it is definitely time consuming. So now we have the length of six pins and I'm going to put that layer on right now. Again, just doing the same zigzag pattern. And then I'm going to work my way back down. And then again, I'm going to be removing the bottom layer. So I want one from the end and then two from the centers. Again, just one from the end. Do the same thing on the other side. And then again, just one from the end and push this down. And now I'm going to add another layer using the length of six pins. And then work my way back. Okay. 
And then again, I'm going to be removing the bottom layer. So this time I'm going to remove two from the end pins. I have three bands on the end, but I'm going to be taking two off because I want to get ready to narrow this again. Then I'm taking two um, from the center pins. And again, two from the end. Flip to the other side and do two from all of the pins again. And then push this down. And now I want to um, reduce the length of the pins to four. So what I'm going to do is move the ends in again. So grab the bottom band and pull it up to the right and grab the one above it and move it down and to the right. And then just take that bottom band from each one of those and pull it over the top. Go to the other side and we're going to take the top band and bring it down. And we're going to take the bottom band and move it up. And then I'm going to take the bottom band from each of those pins and secure that. And now I'm going to do another layer of red. This is going to be my last layer of red and then we'll do the hat. And then work my way back down. And now I'm going to remove the bottom layer. So I'm going to take just one band from the end and then two bands from the center pins. Just one from this end again. Flip to the other side. Again, I want one from the end and two from the center pins and one from the end. And push all of this down. And now, as I said, I'm going to start on the hat, the Santa hat. So I'm going to start on the same pin on the left-hand side, and I'm going to switch to white. I'm just going to string that, zigzag my way up and down, and then back. So I want to remove the bottom layer, and this time I want all the reds to come off. So I have two reds on each pin, so I'm going to be taking both of those um, red bands off all of the pins. And then flip to the other side. Again, I want both reds to come off. And now I'm going to push all of this down and I want to add a second layer of white. Again, we're just using the length of four pins. And then again, I'm going to be removing the bottom layer so I have two whites on the end, so I'm just going to be taking one, but I'm going to be removing two whites from the center pins, and then one from the end, and repeat that on the other side. And then again, push all of this down, you can get the arms to go down through. 
and you can see the body working its way down. So now I have to move my end pins in because I want to um, narrow this hat. So I'm going to take the bottom left band and move it up and the top band and move it down to the right and then take the bottom band over the top for both of those pins. Take the top band and move it down and the bottom band and move it up. Again, take the bottom band from each of those pins and now I'm going to do the green for the top part of the hat. Again, I'm just going to make an X and then I'm going to do another layer of green also before I take any off. And then I'm going to remove the bottom layer of white. I have two bands that I want to get off of each of the pins. Go to the other side and repeat. And then push this down. And now I'm going to add another layer of green starting with that bottom left pin and then crossing over. And again, just remove the bottom single band of green and push this down. And now I want to get ready to take my M&M off of the loom. So on this bottom left pin, you should have two green bands. So pick them both up on your hook and move them up and diagonally to the right. Take the bands on the bottom right pin, get them both on, and move them up and diagonally to the left. And then you want to take the bottom two bands off of each of those pins. So now I should just have two green bands left on each of these pins. I'm going to take two bands on my hook and then put them over top of the next pin and then I want to again remove the bottom two bands and so then I should have two bands left that I'm just going to put on my hook I'm going to move this row of pins off and then I'm going to take a white band Put it on my hook and loop it through those two green bands. Get that loose end back on my hook and pull one through the other. Put one end through the other and pull. And so here is my M&M. &M. And now to make the M on him um, was a little bit hard to do. I tried uh, very hard to get an M in the pattern as I was looming it, but it didn't work out the way I liked it so um, if you just want to take some white bands and you want to see where you want your M to be so um, for example like right here we would want a straight line up and down so where I want one of the ends to be for the M I want to put my hook through from the back grab a white band and then pull it through to the back and then where I want the end of this to be again I'm going to from the back side reach through again grab this other end of the white and pull that through to the back so that's going to be the straight up and down left side of my M and you can see you have two loose bands on the back side and we're going to address that later. So next I want to take another white band and now I want the M to curve uh, to slant down. So what I'm going to do is again I'm going to reach my hook back through from the back and I'm going to take another white band and pull that through to the back as well and see where I want this to end is right about here so I'm going to reach through from the back 
grab the other end of this band and pull it through to the back. So there's my slant. And now before I place my next band, I'm going to get these four loose bands on the back. I'm going to put them through a hook so that this doesn't come off. So I'm going to get this one white band and then get the second one very carefully on my hook and I have a clip like an oval clip here and I'm going to just um, secure these bands on this clip and then I'm going to take the other two loose bands get them on my hook as well and I have another clip that I'm just going to again secure these in place. So now that I've done that I'm going to continue on my M. So the next band I want to slant up into the right. So I'm going to reach through from the back. I'm going to try and go right at the same spot as where I ended. And I'm going to pull that through to the back and then I'll see where I want the top of the M to be, like right about here. So again, I will reach through from the back and put this on my hook and once again pull this through to the back side. So I'm going to take this one loose end and I'm going to hook it on my oval clip and secure it in place. I'm going to take the other end, get my hook through there, and again secure this in place onto the clip. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. And then finally I want the um, up and down band for the other end of my M. So I'm going to again start from, try and get my hook to go from the back through to the front right around that same spot. And then pull the white through to the back. And then where I want it to end, take my hook through from the back side. And then pull this back through again. So there's my M and again I'll have two more loose bands on this back side that I have to secure. So I want to take those um, loose bands, the one is kind of hidden, I get this white one on my hook and then once again I want to get it hooked to this clip and then take the other end and again hook it on this clip. Make sure that it's on there good. And so there is the M. And now I want to make the mouth. So I'm just going to take a black band for the mouth and see where I want that to be as well. And I'll reach back from the back through to the front, put the black band on and pull it to the back and then where I want the other end of the mouth to be I'll just reach through from the back again, grab the other end of that black and pull it to the back and now I should have two loose black bands so I'm going to take another clip and this time I'm going to get the black bands to go on. So get it on the one end, slide it on, grab the other end, and slide that on. And then on the front here is my mouth, and you can pull it down if you want it to be a little more open looking, or you can close it however you'd like it. And then I have the two googly eyes 
And what you can do is, um, if you have rubber cement or some kind of a rubber-based glue, and then you can just glue the eyes on wherever you'd like. And there is your M&M.